YouTube is scared, which is another fan TV. I got another video. Hey, look, man, training camp is here. So we got to hit some training camp news. All right, six Ravens officially will be on the pup list to open up training camp. All right, now let's go who those, through who those Ravens are and why it's really not a surprise. All right, so running backs, J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards, obviously with the knee injuries. Uh, Ronnie Stanley coming from his ankle injury. Tyus Bowser with his Achilles injury. Marcus Peters with his ACL injury. And Ardarius Washington with um, his knee injury as well. So, none of these guys are really a surprise here, okay? Um, I was wondering why I didn't see Ardarius Washington during this offseason. Um, I wasn't really aware that he was hurt. So, that one's probably the only one I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I didn't know where he was at. So, that, that's, that's where he's been. But the rest of the guys, it's no surprise here. Now, one name is missing, and that's David Ojabo. David Ojabo is not on here just simply because um, he has to sign a contract yet with the Baltimore Ravens officially. So it's not like a holdout or anything like that. I guess they're just working over some of the terms and the incentive-based stuff that's inside of a contract. Because, I mean, the scale pretty much already determines what you're going to get paid. But there's certain different structures that, you know, I guess affect bonuses and things like that. And the situation may be different because... Um, you know, he's coming off, he's coming with the entry coming into being drafted. So it may be different things in, in this contract. But, so David Ojabo will probably make it seven whenever he's officially signed. He'll be probably be on that pup list. Now, there's two different kinds of pup list. I know people are going to bring up J.K. Dobbins said, oh, I might not even be on pup. There are two different kinds of pups, okay? There's active pup and there's reserve pup. Now, pup is physically unable to perform, if anybody didn't know. All right. The active pup list, which is at the start of training camp, which is where we at right now, is simply saying these guys can't start training camp right now, but literally they can be activated off this off this list after one practice if they're healthy. Okay, this list goes all the way up until the beginning of the season. Now, if J.K. Dobbins was still on this list, say early first week of September, then he would have to miss the six games uh, that's required from that pup list. But as of right now, there's nothing changed on the fact that he still can be on track to play week one if he's healthy enough to play week one. Okay, so now, now we got that out of the way. This is a good thing for the Ravens that these players are, are on pup because that means that the Ravens are taking their time and they're actually taking it slowly. Where they're not rushing anyone back. They're taking their time and letting these guys go through their healing process. I really think all of these guys... Maybe for the exception of J.K., we'll all participate in training camp at some point. J.K. may be really late in training camp. We could be in the middle. I don't know. But all these guys should be on target to participate in training camp. Especially a guy like Marcus Peters, who's been saying that for a while, that he'll definitely be ready for training camp at some point. Okay? Um, the Ravens don't need any repeat of last year. They don't need anybody trying to rush back, trying to prove anything. All of these guys that are on this list are starters, okay? When they come back, their spot's going to be there. There's no reason to rush back, try to prove anything. Your spot is solidified on this team. What we need you to do is to focus on your health, get better, so that when you're ready to uh, fully give it a chance and fully go, you can help this team out and we can be a successful team that season, this season upcoming. So, um, Ty Bowser... Uh, I think he might be the guy that also with J.K. that might not come off this list. I can see Tyus Bowser opening up the season on the reserve pup list just because he just had an ACL injury. Not ACL, I'm sorry. An Achilles injury. Literally the last game of the season. And and therefore, he his recovery table is going to be different from everybody else's, right? Just like Ojabo. He just had his Achilles injury in uh, March. So his timetable is going to be different from these guys who, got, who were hurt last year in camp. You know what I mean? Or, or in Ryan Stanley's case, first week of the season. You know, so their recovery time is going to be a little different. So I would say everybody on this list is in good shape to play at some point this season. Uh, Tyus Bowser, I expect him to miss the, work, the first four to six weeks. More than likely, at least the first six weeks if he opens up on that reserve pup list. Um, JK, I really think he'll be back week one, but if he's not, I'm fine with that. Gus Edwards, I think he'll be back week one. Ronnie Stanley, Marcus Peters, I think those guys will be back week one. Now, uh, Darius Washington is interesting just, just for the simple fact that 
he shouldn't try to rush back, right? He's a young player. He's a talented player. But you don't want him to get hurt because um, he wants to rush back and earn his spot. Now, I can get why he might want to do that because the Ravens' secondary is loaded, and especially loaded with young talent. I mean, they just they just drafted two corners. I mean, Darius Washington is a safety, but they just bought in Marcus, uh, Marcus uh, Williams. Uh, Chuck Clark is here. Drafted Kyle Hamilton. Brandon Stevens can play safety, even though he, he might play more slot corner this year. The Ravens are loaded in that in that back end of the team. Oh, Geno Stone. I can't forget about Geno Stone, too. Really talented player. Made some plays last year. A couple interceptions. So, you know, I can understand how Darius Washington probably, he probably is the guy that wants to get back the fastest just because he wants to get on the field and, you know, earn his spot on this team. But, you know, I would encourage him to not to make the the short play and rush back when, you know, this this could affect your whole NFL future if, you know, you get hurt again or whatever. Um, but that's the only guy I would say that the Ravens or, or the player himself might want to rush back. All right. Other than that, nobody else here is on is, is a surprise. Okay. If these guys are healthy, like a guy like Marcus Peters, for example, they bring him back into the building. They see that he's okay. He can literally be activated off, off the pub list after one or two practices if they feel like he's ready to go. All right. So the Ravens aren't rushing anybody back. That's the good news. Well, there also, there's no surprises on this. Like I said, our Darius Washington is a slight surprise, but he wasn't a starter. He wasn't a main guy, a main starter. So there is nobody that's a surprise on this list that is a starter that was like, oh, wow, he's on the pub list. So that's good. That means everybody who was supposed to be on there is on there. No new people, no surprises. The Ravens are in good shape. All right. All these guys will play at some point. Um... Like I said, with the exception of the Ties Bowser, who I think will open up the season on the regular public and miss that first six weeks of the year, all of these guys should be and really could be back uh, week one for the regular season versus the New York Jets. So the Ravens are in good shape. Um, training camp is, around, is about to start, literally. Um, QB's in the building. Ricky's in the building. Injured, injured vets like these guys are in the building. Now the rest of the, the veterans that are uninjured are coming back next week. And we often run into the season, man. So I just want to get a little quick update about who's on the pup list and that Ravens fans really shouldn't be shocked or worried about anybody who's on this list because they're going to be fine. They're going to be in good shape. All right. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.